Alright, so we're now at the South Boston checkpoint, and there are a few gunners in the checkpoint itself, so I've got to go take them out. I don't think they see me yet, so I should be able to get some good sneak damage on them. Oh, there's one. He snuck up on me. Longbellow's got my back. He's a good friend. Oh, I didn't see this guy over here. There you go, he's dead. I think there's one back here too. Did I just see one? No. Nope. Hang on, fella, you need to get better with that super sludge. Alright, so there is a chest inside of here. It's got some ammo. If you need that kind of thing, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light here. Um, it is a bit dark. So I'm gonna wait for daytime. And then we'll continue on with the quest. I'm gonna cast it right here. Yep, sit. I'm gonna wait a few hours so it'll get a little bit. A little bit more daytimey, because uh, it's like 11 o'clock. So, uh, 12, that'll be 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. That should be good. Let's just sit here and wait. So, it is daytime now. And what we want to actually find is in this trailer up here. And the trailer is kind of interesting because if you come read this terminal here, there's some cool lore about uh, internment and how this is a pre-war checkpoint where uh, the government was interning people who they considered to be potentially communist, communist threats to the country. Seriously, how'd that heal him up? Huh. Looks like there's a bunch of them around here. Alright, let's take care of these raiders. Done. Alright, so let's go check out what's in this trailer. We have a dead body here. His name is Jack, and it looks like he has two notes on them. The first one is Sarge's Clue. Alright, so I'm going to go into MISC and pull up Sarge's Clue. For months I've been stashing away loot, sneaking off at night, and no one suspects a thing. Not that it was hard to do. They're a clever bunch of jarheads when they need to be. But give them some R&R &R and their minds turn messier than a grenade in a toilet. <laughs> Anyways, since it's easy to get lost in the waste, I wrote a bunch of clues to help me find it. The first clue I filed away in the red rocket to the northwest of the outpost. I've got a cabinet ring to open with a few dings. The trick is the number of times you have to sound the bell. But like Queen always says, you gotta press your luck. That tattoo on her face is the only key you need. Just count the leaves and play your tune. Alright, so that is Sarge's Clue. Okay, so now that we've read Sarge's Clue, we know that Sarge was stashing away stuff and hiding it somewhere, and he's left a bunch of clues all over the wasteland. Let's see what Gunner Jack has to say. Gunner Jack's note. So Gunner Jack says, At first I refused to believe it. Sarge had been acting weird, sure, but everyone has their days when they're living in this shit. 
The five of us started out in the same squad, Semper Fi, Band of Brothers, all that shit and more. In a word, we were inseparable. But after I saw what he wrote, there was no defending him. Sarge had been hoarding stuff for himself. And whatever it is, it must be big. So big he couldn't say what. Of course, now he can't say much of anything, seeing his queen slit his throat. Because of that, all we have to go on are these clues he left for himself. Still, at least we're all working together to find it. Greed tends to be contagious, but so far none of us are showing the effects. Ace said he gave Sarge a traitor's burial, some place where the ferals are sure to find them. He said Deuce and Queen want to meet in the abandoned trailer off the road. Good idea. Best to keep this between the four of us. Alright, so if we go to data and look at what happens next, we're told to investigate the red rocket, which is where Sergeant said the next clue would be. So I'm going to go ahead and show a map, and you can see it's just a little bit northwest of where we're at now. I'm going to go ahead and head that direction. Oops. Okay, something to be aware of when you're coming here is if you look at the map, this is right next to Big John Salvage. So expect to see a few super mutants around. I also see a dead sentry up here. So it happens to be dead when I'm here, um, but be prepared, you could have to fight a sentry as well as super mutants. It's like the super mutant dog and the ki sentry killed each other. Let's get this. Get the sky dead. So this is a red rocket, and you can see there's a few pointers in here. Uh, this is a uh, queen. Uh, she was mentioned in the last note. Um, she's got a note on her, so I'm gonna no, go ahead and read it and go. take this ammo. Uh, so Gunner Queen's note. Jack is such a dumb pogue. We all know he was helping Sarge hide the stash. He just betrayed him to save his own skin. He could say he was following orders, but the chain of command doesn't apply to piece of shit liars. It's obvious when he's lying, too. He has that same nervous twitch when he li tries to bluff in poker. I still remember when Sarge taught us the game. Every card's got a number, even the ones that don't. Ace is the same as one, Jack is eleven, and so on. Five cards make a squad, just like the five of us. I especially like the fact that Queen's the number 12, one more than Jack, which makes sense. Because, again, fuck, fuck Jack, that guy's beneath me. Besides, even if he was telling the truth about Sarge, it doesn't take a genius to see that loot's better split three ways than four. Okay, so now that we've uh, read Queen's note, um... If you look at her face, we'll find the first clue to get into the safe. And it's hard to see because she has a um, bandana on, but it looks like she has a four-leaf clover tattooed on her face. So there's a couple ways we can get into the safe, which is right here. The first is we can go use the bell, and the second is we can actually hack the circuit box. Um, but you have to have Intelligent 5 Plus to do that. I do not. Uh, this is a low intelligence high luck character. Um, I could take some min 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 tats and do it, but I'll just go ring the bell and save my min tats. So I'm going to ring the bell. One, two, three, four times. Come on, little fellow, get out of the way. And now the safe is open, and we have Sarge's clue number two. Sarge's clue number two. 
What does Sarge have to say? From the next clue, I had a safe east of here inside the house that's painted red. Of course, once I get there, I'll need a code to open it. Something that's easy to remember. And seeing as you're a godly man, Sarge, I think I'll have you look to the south for a sign. When you see it, just count the rockets pinned in the alley. Then the center is holed in the moon. And then finally, the stars underneath. Oh, you know what just occurred to me, too? Queen is the one who killed Jack. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. So, if I look at the map... It looks like the area is just a little bit to the east of the red rocket. We're looking for a house that is painted red. So the Marker does seem to be over here, and there is another dead gunner. This one is Ace. But, there is a south to the, a sign to the south, but this is not a red house. Alright, so let's read his clue first. Gun, A gunner Ace's note. Let's see what Gunner Ace has to say. It's going to be real funny seeing the look on Queen Queenie's face when we cut her out. She thinks I'm sweet on her. The bitch will never see it coming. Now me and Deuce could split the loot between the two of us. Hopefully he can figure out the, these clues. Ma always said he was a smart one. The best part is, he's my goddamn brother. I don't care how much loot the Sarge has stashed. There's no way he'd betray me. Alright, so Gunner Ace and Deuce are brothers, apparently. They had the same mom. Ooh, he's got stealth boys on him. Alright, so we gotta look into the sign to the south. And it does look like we have one, two, three, four, five pins, three holes, and one, two, three, four, five, six stars. So I'm guessing five, three, six is the code. So where is the red painted house? Oh, here we go. So this must be the, the safe he was talking about. So I'm going to try to lock it, unlock it using the combination. So I believe it was five, three holes, and six stars. And that will unlock the safe to the next clue. Sarge's clue number three. I put the main stash in another safe to the north of here, and one of the buses tucked below the freeway overpass. It's taken me a long time to get everything on my list, but it's been worth it. As far as I know, Ace, Deuce, Jack, and Queen have no idea what I got hidden away. There's guns, loot, dirty magazines, and one special little blast toy I picked up at Poseidon. It's literally lightning and a gun. And the code for the safe? It's as simple as lining up the cards. So the next thing we need to do is go find and unlock Sarge's safe. And if we look on the map, he said it was under our overpass, and you can see the marker's just a little bit north to where we are. Luckily, this um, quest doesn't have us traveling very far. So I'm just going to head straight towards the marker. Life is a race. Win. Okay, so there are some steps down here. If you don't want to just jump over the edge. And there is somebody around. It looks like it's Deuce. Looks like he's hostile. Deuce! Hey, Deuce! Got him. Oh, there's... Oh, it looks like we got some mole rats around here, too. Let's get rid of them real quick. Gunner Deuce's note.
I found the safe, but I can't figure out the last lock. Sarge's clue said something about lining up the cards. What fucking cards? On top of that, I keep getting this feeling I'm being followed. Maybe I shouldn't have left the clues in the other safes. Eh, I'll out them both, and there isn't a scab in the Commonwealth smart enough to open them. Alright, so that's Gunnar Deuce's note. He lived briefly. Poor Gunnar Deuce. He lived briefly. He doesn't look like his brother at all. Wonder what the deal with that is. Alright, so let's go find the safe. It looks like it's in the bus. And more rat or, or not rat roaches, more rats. Alright. Oh, let's. Is there another one? I guess I could get Long. let Longfellow take care of it. Shot straight through Longfellow. Alright, here's Sarge's safe. Alright, we're going to try opening using the lock combination. Now, he says something about lining up the cards. The only cards I've seen in the game are the characters. We had Ace and Deuce and Jack and Queen. And I unlocked the safe. So here we have uh, the Exterminator's cannon rifle. Which we'll try out in a minute. But this is it. It looks pretty cool. And Sarge's note. Bottle caps. Ammo, ammo, ammo. And it looks like he did have a magazine. Let's read Sarge's last note. I think the squad is starting to suspect something. Ace and Deuce have always been on their OFP. And Quinny just does whatever Ace says. Hell, even Jack is starting to look at me like I banged his sister. Man, it's gonna be a riot when those Leathernecks find out I was getting them gifts for their promotion. Truth is, they've been working their asses off all year and I just want to show them I appreciate it. Especially my pal Deuce. I owe him for saving my skin when we got hit by the Raider crew. That's why I got a special present for him. I know he hates our six-legged friends with passion, and the Solar Kitten is an all-purpose bug zapper with a trigger. Supposedly, Uncle Sam contracted Poseidon Energy to build the bad boy before the war as part of their R&D. I got my hands on it during a raid at the, on their old lab a while back, but I kept it secret from the others. It's dangerous, for one. I didn't want any of the new enlistees to barbecue their hands off. Besides, a prize like this needs to go to someone who deserves it, and I can't think of anyone more deserving than my men. They've been with me through good times and bad, and it's time I reward them for their loyalty. Alright, so, that is the end of the quest, but we're not done yet, because I want to equip this weapon and try it out. So it's the Exterminator's cannon rifle. The Exterminator's solar cannon rifle does 50% more damage against Mylarks and bugs, which I guess is nice, especially since they're awful. I believe there are some raiders right close by. Let's see who we can find in here. Okay, so I'm already you can tell it's a little hard to aim with this. You have to aim a little bit over the site. Probably much easier to use if you're using bats. See who else we can kill around here. There's gotta be more than just that one one raider. Ah, I missed. Yeah, it's a little hard it's a little hard to aim with it. He's going to be really hard to hit with it. Let's see. Alright guys, that's it. That is the Exterminator's Rifle. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly thought it was a cool quest. And I'm really excited to have been able to do a video on it. Thank you for watching. 
and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks! Bye everyone!